Hi, everybody. It's your boy, Abong Eka, CPA and founder of Economics, E-K-A-N-O-M-I-C-S dot com, focusing on your mission, your mindset, and your money. I want to share with you a quick story that I that I that happened to me today. I gave a keynote speech for a major leadership uh, group and conference to a bunch of uh, young leaders. And what I realized is there are a lot of people who have ideas to do things that they, that they want to accomplish in life and they get stuck. They don't know what to do next, That's despite of what they're doing. And I met this young person. She came up to me. She's a 17-year-old sophomore in college. So she did high school in three years and she also accelerated her college. She's a sophomore in college at 17. So she's literally going to graduate before she turns 21. There are a lot of people who, who, who are still in college right now and they're in their 20s and 30s. But be that as it may, she started a nonprofit organization several years ago, and it's it's geared towards bringing a lot of awareness to domestic violence for women, as well as sexual violence and battery to women, based in South Carolina, where she goes to school. She is so effective and efficient that she's also she's already been able to get a meeting with the governor of South Carolina to share her vision and her passion. But she came up to me after my speech. And she wanted to ask me a question because she was frustrated. She didn't know how to get to that next level. She kept, she kept saying to us, she kept saying to me, every single time I share my vision, I feel like people don't get it. And I told the group that one of the tenets that they have to fulfill is that they have to be able to communicate their, their passion and their purpose to others. The other thing I mentioned to them was there are three P's of motivation, pain avoidance, pleasure seeking, and purpose. Those who accelerate past the first two into purpose they end up living the life of greatness and leaving legacy. They have a legacy mindset, a legacy thinking. This 17-year-old young woman is literally in the throes of creating a legacy. There are people who are four times her age who have done nothing. Two times, one time, wherever, they've done nothing. They're more like the average. Now, I'm not saying you have to do the same thing in order to bring any value to the, to the life and to the marketplace and to your experience in your community. What I am saying is this. Because she had a purpose... Everything she does is for the purpose of her charity and her nonprofit. But what I told her that was important is it's imperative that she finds people who understand her vision and that allow her to be able to communicate that effectively and efficiently. Not everybody's going to get what you what you want to do. They're not going to get your thoughts. They're not going to get your beliefs. They're not even going to understand what the hell you're talking about half the time. It's okay. Average people know average things. Average people have average activities and average actions. You're not going to be thinking of greatness and legacy. So let not your heart be troubled. And what I also told her was this. First, find other people who can help you accelerate along your path. Those who are already doing it. Those who are currently in the throes of something similar. Maybe they have a bigger organization. They have a lot more influence. The other thing is, you're going to have a lot of people giving you dumb advice Advice that has nothing to do with what you're doing, but all they're doing is putting on the cloak of their fears onto you. The cloak of fears, right? The cape of fear onto you. And then I asked her, out of all the people who are giving you who are giving you negative feedback, how many of them have accomplished anything in their lives? She thought for a second, she said nothing. Did none of them have accomplished anything? I said exactly. I don't expect average people to give me advice of greatness. I don't expect average people to tell me how to overcome setbacks and lack of motivation. Why would I? They're average. When bad things happen, they fall. When good things happen, they rise. They move like the wind. They follow the rain all the way down to the sewer. That's the kind of life they live. It's okay. I'm not talking crazy or, or, or talking bad about people who decide to live like that. It, it is what it is. But if you're trying to make a difference in the world and leave a legacy, you have to understand a simple principle, my friends. One, you may be alone, but two, you got to find other people who are on that same path, who can help guide you. That is one of the surefire ways to end up getting to that mountaintop and leaving a legacy of greatness. Most people are focused on pain avoidance, pleasure seeking, and very few are focused on purpose. When you have purpose in your life, everything changes. When you have purpose in your life, you have a better chance of getting what you want.